our trade agreements have uh, failed us greatly. They have failed the American worker. They have failed the middle class. I think we all know that. And both parties, quite frankly, are responsible for it. Um, you go back to NAFTA under President Clinton. It was a disaster. We now know that. CAFTA under President Bush, mixed results at best. And now we have TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership that President Obama is advancing, which I am very suspect of. The, the details have not fully been worked out yet. But time and time again, these trade agreements, uh, oftentimes due to um, fast-track authorities, they refer to it as, um, end up being bad deals. And they, they end up being bad deals for the American worker, by and large, because oftentimes we're playing on an unlevel playing field. Uh, we're dealing with countries that may have lower labor standards, they may have lower environmental standards. Oftentimes these countries manipulate their currency, sometimes as a matter of public policy. If you're not playing on a level playing field, we should not enter into these trade agreements that are costing more and more American jobs and hurting the middle class. Does he, uh, just to Andy's point, because Andy correctly pointed out, I want to make clear I'm suspect of TPP. We don't know exactly what's in it yet. It has not fully been vetted. Uh, I am suspect because of our history of trade agreements, which have historically not benefited the American worker and have hurt the middle class. So the details are being worked out. I hope they're worked out in a good manner where we can actually get behind it. But 